Joe Phantomaniacs, welcome to the newest unboxing here on the Needless Things YouTube channel. Uh, oddly, Amazon got our Action Sailor Recon Diver 60th anniversary figure in early, earlier than anybody else. Uh, no sign of the soldier yet, but the sailor is here. I'm pretty excited about this one. The soldier I almost wasn't going to get, uh, just because it's... It's not specifically G.I. Joe. It's so just modern military, which is not as interesting to me as the sort of sci-fi fantasy elements, slightly futuristic military of G.I. Joe. Like, this is much more up my alley. But I love aquatic-themed figures, so the sailor was no question. Had to get it. Had to have it. Uh, and, of course, I do have the soldier on the way, too, because I can't help myself. It's got G.I. Joe on it, so I need it. Uh, all right, big deluxe box, lots of accessories inside, two different portraits. In the back of the box, got a nice little action shot that's somewhat reminiscent of uh, more classic style G.I. Joe stuff. A couple little feature panels here, whatever. You know how I feel about the packaging. It looks neat, great, we like it. Actually, I do like this artwork on the side quite a bit. Looks really cool. Uh, but ultimately, this packaging is getting thrown in the recycling. So, uh, while it looks cool, it's nice to have the window back. We have more important things to discuss. Uh, in the back, we've got a nice, nice little, oh, it's not even an insert. Oh yeah, it is. Okay. Get a nice little insert, uh, that maybe I'll use for the thumbnail, although it's a little glossy, so I don't know. Uh, but it looks pretty cool. Nice and classy. They didn't do anything too wild and crazy here. It's just a cool topographical map background. Uh, and then the 60. Uh, very nice. I like that logo. It, it kind of strikes me now that it's not overdone or too much or anything. It's just a very simple, classy looking logo. Uh, very nice job there by whoever designed that. I can't get this box broken down. There we go. Okay. Let's take a look. Uh, like I said, I love aquatic themed toys so this this sailor was a must-have for me obviously we've got a lot of parts reuse and that's okay because a uh, a diver you know the the wetsuit is an element the gear like it's all common stuff i have no problem with that i do like the stand and while i don't use stands myself i don't care for figures that have to have stands uh, or at least one twelfth scale figures that have to have stands i do think hasbro should be selling these by the truckload on pulse like i boggles my mind that you can't buy like a 20 pack of these i feel like that's just money waiting to be made lots of different uh weapons different accessories uh, the loadout here is definitely a draw for me even though uh, you know, often I feel like, oh, I don't need all these accessories because half of this stuff's going in a drawer. But this feels like a cool special release. It feels sort of celebratory of G.I. Joe. And, oh my gosh, he's really stuck in there. Uh, celebratory of G.I. Joe and, and really even of Classified in particular because... You know, this figure is what Classified is all about, is giving us sort of the ultimate G.I. Joe figures, tons of accessory, uh, accessories, great sculpting, great articulation. So it, it, this, it just feels like a special figure. I think they did a nice job of not overdoing it with some kind of crazy livery and, and uh, super deluxe release, because this was, uh, the MSRP was $34.99. Uh, although if you ordered early from Big Bad, it was twenty four ninety nine, and they're still they still appear to be honoring that, which is nice. Uh, but I mean, you know, for all the stuff that it comes with, and it being a you know kind of a classy release, uh, I'm okay with the price point. Man, cool stuff! Oh, look at we got a little modular deal here. We'll mess with that in a minute. For now, let's take a look at just the figure. I uh, got kind of a loose sheath on the thigh there, but if you maybe pull that down around the thigh a little bit more, it'll kind of stay in place. It is a stretchy rubber, so it's got some flex and you can pull it down and it'll maybe stay there. Uh, 
Lots of elements we saw from Torpedo. Same dive suit, but again, that's fine. That doesn't bother me a bit. I don't know the technical terms for any of this like gear that he's got going on. This is a little separate piece here. Uh, I do like the tampo on the backpack. Let's go ahead and do our zoom in. G.I. Joe issued, classified. Ah, hang on. My, my uh, reading glasses are failing me here. Let me get out my trusty magnifying glass. There we go. Uh, G.I. Joe issued, classified grade property of special forces unit, not for civilian use or resale. <laughs> What a, what a bizarre, I mean, it makes sense, but how odd to put that on there. I kind of love it. And then look at this, the crossed out Cobra logos. Very cool. It's a nice touch. Um, I really dig the color combination here. The, the uh, wetsuit, the black and really dark gray and then the uh, drab of the web gear and everything look very cool. Uh, it. It has a traditional feel, but looks cool and fits in with classified. The, the aesthetic really works for what we're doing. This is, if you've got Torpedo, this figure looks like support for Torpedo, and I dig that. I would love to see uh, some of the red Cobra divers using, using the same mold. Yeah, of course, we need crimson eels, right? They've done crimson everything else. Uh, portrait looks, dude looks pretty angry. He is not happy uh, to be out in the water, freezing cold water at two o'clock in the morning, looking for cobras. He is not thrilled about it. This little loose piece here, um, I assume this would be a separate piece from the vest. Look at the detail on the vest. Go ahead and pop this off and just take a look. Just looks good. Nice looking piece. Lots of sculpt, lots of texture. Uh, just uh, brings the figure to life. Makes it look good. Uh, the plastic feels good. It's solid. My joints uh, seem to be moving nicely. Good solid ratcheting knees, but they're not stuck. Yeah, everything. The figure feels good, which is important because, you know, with this being a 60th anniversary deluxe release. It does need to, it, it, they really didn't need this to be one of the like rubbery stuck joint, not quite working right figures. Yeah. Everything's moving around really nicely. So good job on that front. Look at the storage here. I love, we're going to, we're going to load this guy up in just a minute. So everything looks good. Cool figure. It fits in with classified, but also if you are one of the fans of just sort of modern military, uh, I think this is going to look good on your shelf next to your action force or, or whatever you've got. So let's take a look at these accessories. We have the swim fins that we have seen before, marked right and left with holes. So you can put them on the stand with the fins on. Uh, and these work really nicely. This is one of the things I do like about this scale, uh, because I, I've mentioned it before. Uh, I never wanted one twelfth scale Joes. I never wanted six inch Joes. Uh, but these fins look great. They stay on really well. They work well. They feel good. They're like rubbery. These are really really cool. Uh, when I, even when I was a kid, like all the hard plastic, real American hero fins swim fins kind of look I don't know that I thought that much about it but it always kind of was like well they don't they don't do the thing they're supposed to do uh, so I appreciate these modern ones in the larger scale really cool I think we already looked at that but it just looks I love the the black background with the the bright green readout just looks great uh, okay what else have we got let's stand him off to the side we have the spear gun which is not one of my favorites uh, 
it just doesn't, it's, it's warped, it's rubbery, uh, it has not looked good with any of the figures that it has come with. I don't like the way they did the line on it. It's just, it looks like a McFarlane accessory, and I don't mean that in a complimentary way. This is one of the lesser classified accessories, in my opinion. Uh, not a fan. And like, it's, you know, eh, it is what it is. I don't care for it. I've got the explosive satchel that came with the retro snake eyes, appropriate for this fellow. The olive drab matches the rest of his gear. Looks cool. Nice sculpt. I really like the squareness of it. So, very cool. Dog tags, which are a part of classic Joe. Uh, the old 12-inch Joes all came with dog tags, and I think it's cool that this guy has them. I'm not going to put them on him because it's just going to look awkward. Why, why did I just lay him on his face like that? What am I doing? Uh, but I might put them on somebody else. I don't know, but I'm not putting them on this guy. Uh, we've got whatever this doodad is. I'm honestly not positive. Does this go on his chest, maybe? Or does it go on his tank? Where, what is what is this? I know you guys are going to tell me in the comments. All right. I needed instructions with this. Maybe there's something on the box. I'm going to do something I don't usually do. And refer back to the box here. So this is not represented. I mean, it's got gauges and stuff on it. Is it? Okay, wait. Does it go here? That seems, yeah, look. It looks like that's, that's it. Maybe. That just seems really bulky to have hanging. Uh, you dive enthusiasts out there, tell me in the comments, what the heck is that thing? And are you really diving with this bulky piece of equipment hanging off? So this is a little weird. Uh, he's got a different setup here, but his backpack still has the holes, which I understand they just reused it. And I honestly don't have that much of a problem with it. It's just odd to see these holes just hanging out here. Uh, he does have nice, clear lenses. Let's see how well this fits. Oh, yeah, look at that. It snaps uh, right under his chin, so it stays on really nicely. Uh, and then he's got just this big thing hanging off of him, which is really weird. So there, that that goes like that. Uh, yeah, explain this to me. We've got a knife. Pretty thick blade for the knife, but it looks great. And got nice silver paint on the blade. I like the serrated, uh, the shape of it looks really good. And put that right in that thigh sheath. That little chest piece can just go flying off to the side, I guess. This is so odd to me. It just seems so bulky. Um, we've got a pistol with a, or I'm sorry, a blaster. It's been a minute. I forgot. I've got a blaster with a suppressor. Pops right off there. And not a removable magazine. So that... We've got a holster over here, and I believe, there we go, I believe the suppressor is going to go over here, and it takes uh, some effort to get this guy loaded up. There we go. That probably goes further down, but I'm not going to bore you guys with watching me struggle with it. Uh, it's got a nice submachine blaster with that does have the removable magazine. Uh, this is kind of gummy, but 
It's holding its shape. It looks good. Ah, it's got a port for blast effects. So I'm okay with it. I don't mind them being a softer plastic as long as they hold their shape. So put that right in his hand over there. So one thing you can say about classified is these pretty much always go right in the hand uh, and work nicely. Got the alternate portrait. This guy looks a little less unhappy about being out at two in the morning, but still not entirely satisfied. But another great unique portrait. I dig it. And then finally, we've got his little submersible engine thing that I'm sure has some kind of name. Uh, the front comes off there for some reason. And I do believe, look at that, that does spin. Like, this is kind of the only way you can make it happen, because it's very it's on there very snug, so it's not like you can blow on it and it's just going to start spinning around. Uh, but looks good. I like it. Uh, again, I like the little readout here with the neon green. It's got the handles on it, uh, and then it's got a little carry. Let's see. I'm wondering if this might... Nah, it's too bulky. I was wondering if this might sort of plug into here, but that's not going to happen. Oh, but look. He's got hooks on the back of his web gear for what what a uh what a process it is to get this guy set up. I kind of want to see if I can fit everything on him. I don't think so. Okay, so the fins can hang there. And we're going to put the backpack back on. We've got this little clip here that I don't remember exactly what it was for, for, uh, for Torpedo. I'm not going to get the satchel. We understand that that's how that's going to fit on. And then he's got his, uh, <laughs> I'm going to get it all on him. Every bit of it, every bit of it is going on him. So he's going to carry that. He's got that. He is loaded down. Uh, and then we're going to put the dog tags. We're just going to pretend they're around his neck. We're going to jam them up in there. <laughs> and uh, then finally, the extra head <laughs> we'll, we'll put on top. I don't know. Obviously, you don't need to be able to store the extra head. But there it is. Look, he can hold everything. Amazing. Uh, all right. Well, anyway, this is a really cool figure. I dig it. I, like I said, I love aquatic themed stuff. So having this, uh, recon diver action sailor fella on the shelf, I'm pretty happy about. And, uh, I'm not going to cancel the one that I've got coming from big bad because I'll put the other head on it and have two support guys for torpedo. Uh, I like him enough and I can vary him up enough that that works for me. And I don't normally do well, I can't even say I don't normally do troop building because I've got a few multiples of, of certain ones. But anyway, I dig this guy. Nice job representing what G.I. Joe is now and also sort of celebrating the history at the same time. Uh, well done, Hasbro. I'm excited to get another one of these. I'm excited about the Action Soldier, which I was not super stoked about at first. I think it's just going to be cool on the shelf. Uh, so there you go. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, check out audiblearmy.com. And until next time, Joel! Smash that like button if you like needless things.